Well, here we are on a beautiful, balmy spring day <laughs> uh, in a lovely park with loads of kids running around, loads of dogs sniffing about. Uh, but there is etiquette when it comes to walking your dog, and I thought it'd be nice to ask a vet. Luckily, I stumbled upon one. The lovely Janet here is going to talk us through the top five tips for walking your dog well, what kind of etiquette we should use. Well, rule number one, Sarah, is to put your dog on the lead if you're approaching another dog and they have that dog is on the lead, then you really need to be quite careful and wonder why that dog is on the lead. Let's move on now to the appropriately named number two, uh, because um, it's one of my personal bugbears. Um, people have got to pick it up and we've got to be responsible dog owners. What am I talking about? Dog poo. Yeah. And if the dog hasn't been wormed and passes worm eggs in the poo, then if a, if a child accidentally eats that, it can cause serious health problems. So absolutely. And it's just, it makes all dog owners look bad as well. The few who don't pick up, it sort of doesn't look good on anyone, does it? It doesn't, no, it, doesn't. it literally doesn't it look is, good on anyone. What's the etiquette when it comes to bringing your dog to a park full of kids? It's really important not to let your dog just run up randomly to children in the park. Uh, you might know your dog's okay with children, but that child might be very scared of dogs, um, so always check with the, the child or with the parent. Okay, so on to uh, a fun one, dogs and play. How important is it for dogs to play? Do allow your dog to play and play with your dog. It's really important for their physical development um, and also actually their mental health as well to be able to run around and, and play and enjoy themselves. One proviso really is be careful what you throw for them. I do need to be aware that there's a little beast is in the grass. What am I talking about? Ticks. We thought we'd have a little look for some ticks on Baxter here. So where would you yep. start? What, what would you do as a vet? Well, it's quite important when you come back from a walk to check the dog over for things like ticks, but also burrs and cuts and, and scratches as well if they've been running around a lot. So you really just want to look through the fur mm. and just check that, that you can't see any of these little um, parasites stuck onto the skin. They're tiny when they first attach, very, very small, so you need to look quite closely. Mm. Look under the tummy on that, where the, the fur is quite thin, up on the neck and sort of round the head area, and the okay. ears as well. The ears is a very common place for the, the ticks to attach. Okay, so what we, can we do to prevent them getting on your dog? There are products such as Frontline Spot On, which you can apply onto your dog, which um, will deal with the tick problem and kill the ticks before they can transmit disease. Okay, cool. Okay, so thanks very much, Jana. Um, I don't know how to behave beautifully on a walk. Do you want to just explain it to Baxter, please? <laughs>